Welcome to another Multimedia Fun Times with John Hartley, John Hartley being me of course, and uh, today we'll be looking at another WordPress tutorial and we're going to start with the ShareBar plugin, ShareBar plugin available in the plugin directory on WordPress.org and uh, this is a fairly popular plugin, it adds a vertical or horizontal um, bar of social media things so you can tweet uh, like and then over here I have the rest of the list dig reddit stumble upon etc etc and you can add your own and things like that and so when you initially uh, turn on the plugin this is what it looks like I, I've already added the or enabled the Facebook like button um, but this is essentially what it looks like when when you activate it and so you, you can see that yeah it doesn't look quite as polished as we can make it so that's what we're gonna go over today is how to kind of spruce that up and get it looking real nice uh, for our blog posts so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this Facebook icon and what you can do uh, is go to your share bar settings and then go to edit for Facebook and the problem it's having is with the big button this iframe code right here so uh, what I did was I actually went to the Facebook developer site and I got the new iframe code and I actually have that right here I've copied it uh, from the last time I tried it and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in here now you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. The width and heights are different as well. Uh, this has worked consistently for me and so that's what I've been using as of late. Let's go ahead and hit the update button. It's not gonna show anything right here right away. I think it takes it a little bit of time to process that but you can go back to your post, hit refresh, and there we can see that that looks nice. Another thing to add about that is I've added a margin on the left side of three pixels and I found that that is pretty good at lining it up right under that tweet button so if you have some of the other um, buttons added in there it may be different so if you had uh, the share this or the stumble upon you might have to adjust that margin but for the most part that's looking pretty good you can go ahead and go into the share bar settings and since we're already there, go up to settings up here. This credit you see down on the bottom, DevGrow actually lets you uncheck that. So we can uncheck display credit and we can decide whether we want our share of our position to be on the left or the right. We'll keep it on the left, keep the left offset. Well, let's go ahead and bump that up to 40. And for the Twitter username, this is something that took me a while to figure out. When you hit the tweet button, it adds via at username. So think DevGrow was on there. And what we can change that to, we'll change that to whatever your username is. So mine is John B. Hartley. We can adjust the width, but I'll leave it the way it is right now. Go ahead and update the settings. Pop back over here. We update that, and all right, now it's out over here. There's no credit at the bottom. When I hit tweet, it's via at John B. Hartley. So right there, you could be done. You could be completely finished and you know, it, it looked pretty good. One thing that I found out is that the JavaScript that helps this work can conflict with other pieces of JavaScript. I had a, a Facebook applet in a tabbed division on, on a home page, and it wouldn't work. The tabs wouldn't work because of the share bar JavaScript. So I did some research, and on Max Foundry, Dave Donaldson actually has a great post about how to resolve the JavaScript conflict from the ShareBar plugin. So I'll go ahead and link to that in the description below and on the uh, blog post that I'm doing for this. And I'll show you the code that you need to add. So right here is the standard ShareBar.js that comes with the plugin. So all you have to do is go down here to line 27, drop down one, tab in and then grab this if statement that Dave put in his post just add that in there save it 
and once you refresh you probably won't see any change at all and that's okay because now your JavaScript with the rest of your site will run smoothly. The last thing I'm going to mention about the ShareBar plugin is with ShareBar.php, uh, you can actually control which hook the ShareBar plugin hooks into. And when I, when I say hooks into, I, I mean where the ShareBar displays. So we take a look at our file, ShareBar.php, which comes in the plugin. And when they add filter, the content. Now the content is where it's starting. So this is my first line of content, if you're like me. That's my first line of content. So what happens if I switch this to the title? Now I had to do this for um, a custom meta box that, that I had put in for a WordPress theme. And when I tried putting in the title, this is what happened. It goes to that first instance of WordPress, the title. And because I'm using a WordPress menu up here, it's going directly to one of those links. And you'll see that these links are now not clickable. And when you look at that, it's because ShareBar takes it out of the link, takes sample page out of my link, and see, we can see that it's adding its own HTML in here. So the warning there is don't use the title. You could use maybe the author. But that doesn't seem to work either as pretty much everything on your page breaks. So what I ended up doing is going into my meta.php file and finding the time. And so now it's hooking in to the time which I have in every single .php file. So that's how I had to solve that problem. Now you probably won't have any extra meta content like I did uh, and have reason to use that, but I wanted to show you the different hooks that you can use to move that around. Another thing you can do is go into sharebar.css and just add your own uh, position from the top. As you can see here, the body UL sharebar has an absolute position. There's no defined uh, top when you first open, so what you can do is add your own. Let's go ahead and say top 100 pixels. So 100 pixels from the top, absolutely positioned. And so there we go. That's 100 pixels from the top of my last relative container. Now what happens if we go 700 pixels? Now it's all the way down here. So you can see how using sharebar.css to move that sharebar around can be helpful. I'm going to go ahead and take this out and make sure that add filter is on the content. And now it pops right there, right back to the top of our content. So that's a quick overview of the ShareBar plugin. Hopefully you've learned a little more, maybe fixed that uh, Facebook like issue. And by the time you see this, there may actually be updates here on the plugin directory. So that'll do it for this tutorial. Uh, be sure to check the description for links to the Max Foundry post by Dave Donaldson so you can get that if statement uh, to resolve your JavaScript conflict. So that'll do it, and until next time, if you have any questions, again, feel free to put them in the comments section. My next tutorial will probably be something about After Effects, so make sure you check that out coming up here in this next week. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is John Hartley. See ya.